Hello, I'm William Gallagher and this is 58 Keys, which as ever, as always, is for writers like you and me who use and who write on Macs and iPhones and iPads. I mean, do subscribe or, or support 58 Keys on Patreon because, I mean, there's always so much for us to talk about. And in this case, actually, specifically, there are 10 things to talk about. There is a new 58 Keys video every Wednesday um, and across the whole of 2023, these 10 were the most popular videos. I mean, I, I suppose I've got to be doing this because I'm just curious to see what happened. I like seeing what was watched. Is it somehow ego related? Can't rule that out. But how about this? OK, let's try to make this useful. Let me offer the suggestion that this dramatic countdown. Yeah, that was too much. This countdown, this top 10 countdown, look at it, please, as a sampler of the last year on 58 Keys. And if there are topics here that are of use to you, that are of interest in some way, then links to the full videos are in the description. Number 10. This was called Yet More Mac Tips for Writers. It was from October 2023. Yet more. You think we spend all this time, all this time writing on Macs. I mean, thousands of hours, isn't it? And still, there are these tiny things about Macs that we tend not to know, and yet which can make an, in, can make an enormous difference uh, to our writing, to our work, and I think especially to just how many of those thousands of hours are spent actually writing something. Every Mac app, right, has, you know this, it has a menu that's the name of the app. So Pages has a Pages menu, Omni Outline has an Omni Outline, yeah, you know. Under that, Every Mac app has a services option. Now, what you see there varies. I mean, it varies depending on the app you're in, which can't be a surprise, but it also varies within the same app. Um, for example, with the app just open, when you choose services, you might see this, which doesn't seem massively useful, really, except actually there are some shortcuts there. You can go straight to a shortcut. But if you click in the document and then select some text, then choosing your services gets you something else, which actually can be overwhelming. Services are these things that your Mac can do that aren't necessarily part of the app that you're currently in. Um, look at that one there, for example, one labeled TS, extract text from HTML source. It doesn't really matter what it does. What matters is that that feature available here in pages is part of a utility app I have called Text Soap. Uh, it's a utility app which I've installed on my Mac and which actually I recommend a lot, link below. But I'm using it here as a service within Pages or within Omni Outliner. Nine, sorry, you hear the laugh there. This is called New Max for Writers. It was from January, 2023. And that was long enough ago that when I saw this on the, the number spreadsheet, I thought, what new Macs were they then? Turns out they were a new Mac Mini and two new MacBook Pro models. It's always the MacBook Pro and the Mac Mini, isn't it? That is the thing to be aware of. The new Mac Mini seems really good and it's definitely cheaper than the last version. Number eight, and definitely a contender for the number one longest title. This was Buy This Untitled Folder Wallet and Try Out Bear 2 from July. I cannot believe it was July though, especially since I made this video when I was supposed to be going to a summer festival. Big event, lots of arts activities and me running a kind of rolling writing workshop over in the corner somewhere. Think of a day-long workshop for an unknown number of children and sometimes their parents but not always in which all of them write, obviously it's a writing thing, but they also have to be able to just walk in and walk out at any time and at many times. And if you do think of one, let me know how. We, yeah. This time, actually, none of it happened. I had a, such a good idea. Um, none of it happened because the weather here in the UK turned so bad so quickly, the whole event was cancelled as I was driving to it. Yeah, I don't think you needed to know that, but apparently I needed to tell you just. Yeah, weather. Um, anyway, at, at that point when I was driving, there were two 58 Keys related things that were on my mind. That, that very, very wet and extremely, extremely very windy Saturday when I made this video. And one of the two, I should say, it was the Bear Notes app, B-E-A-R, which had just been updated. Writers who love Bear, it's note taking app, really love it. Oh, who knows why? I just don't happen to have taken to it, whereas I gushed over the untitled folder wallet. Please have a look at this. 
I mean, I'm really sorry to not be doing the workshop. I had such a good idea for it. I was so I'll kind of wait to see what happened. But I'm really sorry for the organisers. I mean, months of work gone. Hopefully they can restage it. I'm sure they'll do it again next year. And if they do do it again, if they want me for it again, I'll be going there straight away. But I'll be going with all of the gear. Well, all of the gear that I need for the workshop, of course. But then also what's now become my regular carry. I mean, the iPhone, of course, yet my, my Apple Watch. And actually, that should be it. That is all I need to do anything. If I'm where I'm going, write things, buy things where I need with a watch. But I do also now carry a third thing everywhere. And I was going to say it's this. I, I, just one pixel first. Have a look at this. If you have a Mac, you recognize that as an untitled folder. Well, actually, not just the untitled ones. You've got a million folders and you can change them. But generally speaking, we don't. They all look like this. But then they also look like this. This is the Untitled Folder Wallet by artist Nick Bentel. I think that's how I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, you don't need it. I don't need it. Actually, especially, I mean, I do carry a wallet, but if you tend to carry a purse or a handbag instead of a wallet, this is of no earthly use to you whatsoever. And yet you should buy it, buy it this instant. I mean, yeah, use it as a wallet. Keep it as a piece of art. Relish it as a clever idea that has been realized just superbly. I mean, look at that stitching for it. See along here? I thought that was wrong until I zoomed in on a Mac folder and there it is. Oh, actually, hang on, hang on. Yes. And look, months later, I'm still using that wallet. It's a bit frayed. I may not have treated it <coughs> quite as well as I should, but it still makes me happy. Um, what doesn't make me happy is I don't know that they're still being made. That is a problem. Uh, so link and cross fingers in the description. Number seven, iOS 17 for writers and writing from September. Another year, another major update, major update for the iPhone and as ever, 58 keys ignored everything except what I thought could be of use to you and me as writers, which did primarily include journal but that would turn out to not be released until much, much later. It still took me a good 20 minutes to tell you everything else I'd found, though. The thing is, right, OK, even when you are inured, inured to injury, that's a phrase, even when you're inured to injury from rejections, no, you're not. There are still going to be ones, unexpectedly, maybe, that are a knife. Our mental health takes a beating because of what we do and the way we work, the isolation, how very much we are in our own heads going over and over. I think we're vulnerable. Take a look at this brand new to iOS 17. I'm really taken with this. I think Apple has done a particularly smart job because with a very few quick taps um, here on your iPhone, but also on your iPad, even on your Apple Watch, not on your Mac yet, I notice you can record um, like broad details of how you're feeling today or right now. And then details, again, quite broad of what's happening around you, what else. And very, very quickly, I mean, instantly, actually, you can start seeing charts and they build up and you can start to see details of what you've entered and what else is going on. So over time, for example, you'll see that maybe you tend to feel quite chipper on Sundays and that's the day you go for a run. Or on Tuesdays, you tend to be miserable and totally coincidentally, no judgment here. That's when you see your, your family. Six, Kindle Scribe gets updates for writers and scribblers. I had I'd been so disappointed with the Kindle Scribe in 2022. It seems so long ago now. As much as my, oh, it's, it's right here. As much as like my Kindle Paperwhite for reading on, Kindle Scribe was for writing on and it just, it wasn't up to the job. But by March 2023, it was getting better with what proved to be quite regular and quite significant software updates. So last night... We're parked. Yellow car. Oh, fine. And I'm just <laughs> supposed to wait. OK. Quite, no, I'm not doing this quietly. Last night at midnight UK time, Apple released a whole new series of Macs, updated Macs, all faster, different colours, lots of nice things about them. And they also did it in a really quite interesting way, a writingly interesting way. Is that actually a word? For Apple's macOS Sonoma 
for writers from October. As much as I love my iPhone, it's with me everywhere, it is the Mac where I do my serious writing, about 800,000 words in 2023. So another year, another major-ish update to the Mac. Possibly, you know, just the smallest, but the most example of which is the way that you can now place uh, widgets on the desktop. Notice how you can have the, the full flavour of them, the bright colours, or they will just dim into the background while you're working in another app. You can see, actually, can't you, that mine are only in a nice, neat row, but they don't have to be. Apple rather wants you to be. It sort of helps you line up neatly, but it's up to you. Yeah. This release, macOS Sonoma, it didn't have a lot in it that I think was really, really targeted at us, you and me as writers. But yet again, it was one of those Mac updates where after an hour, maybe, going back to last year's macOS seemed like a chore. How did we ever cope with macOS Ventura? How did we live without widgets on the desktop? And what was it like walking to school barefoot over cobbled streets in the snow? Number three, so glad this is up here. Gushing over the new, gushing, that was the word, gushing over the new OmniFocus 4 in December. And now January, and every month. This just made me happy. When I send out an invoice, for example, I put a task in OmniFocus to check that the invoice has been paid in 30 days' time. I don't look to see what that date is. I just write 30D, and OmniFocus figures out, I mean 30 days, does the date for me. OmniFocus, it's a to-do app, and it has been the most gigantic part of my writing business for more than a decade. It got a new update to version 4 in December, and I was actually thrilled to see it. Thrilled by a to-do app. Don't think me strange, okay? Think OmniFocus, brilliant. Two, got to be careful how I say the title here, using Apple Pages in a Microsoft Word world. I keep getting Word and Word wrong around. This one was another surprise entry in the 10 for me, because I, I thought this thing about using Pages and Word together, it was a small idea and very likely to be just scratching an itch that I happened to have. But a lot of people must have the same itch, because... 10 times more people watch this than did the OmniFocus video. And now, number one. 10 times more would be impressive enough, well, actually was impressive enough for me, but then we get to number one in the top 10 list, which was twice as popular again as number two. In fact, actually, number one was a whole 21 times more popular than number 10. It was about journal. And I do like the quite silly opening I did for what was called Dear Diary, using Apple's journal. Dear Diary, Apple's new journal is excellent, even though there are currently some peculiar omi omi gaps. And of course, it's only on the iPhone. Yet it is good now, and it promises to be excellent. S-W-A-L-K. Yeah, no, while I'm thinking statistics like that, you know, 21 times more popular bit, across 2023, the number of subscribers to 58 Keys so very nearly doubled, so nearly. And the number of uh, views of episodes, I think they went from about, I think it was 300,000 to a pixel and a half a million. I do not know who all these people are. It's just meant to be you and me here. To and actually, we can't be watching that much because we're supposed, we're writing um, aren't we? Thank you very much for watching. Now take care of yourself, write more, and I'll see you soon.